What's going on guys, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing some of my battles from my Catacomb Cup tournament. And you may be asking, what is the Catacomb Cup? Each month the Sylph Arena holds a month long cup, which is basically a themed PvP tournament. And each one has their own specific rules. For Catacomb Cup, there are a couple rules, like with all Sylph Arena tournaments, it's a bring six, pick three. So basically, to start the tournament, you pick six Pokemon that you're going to use, and then for each battle, you pick three of those six, and it is done in a best of three setting. So each participant plays three battles, and whoever wins the most then is the, the winner of that round. And all matches are played in Great League, so it's Pokemon of 1500 CP and under. And for Catacomb Cup, only Pokemon with Dark, Grass, Ice, Rock, and Bug types are allowed, with a few exceptions. Legendaries, Mythicals, Shadows, Regionals, and Steel types are banned. And there are a few individual Pokemon that were banned as well. Scrafty, Dugong, Alolan Ninetales, Crustle, and Obstagoon are on the banned list. For my team, I decided to go with Sudowoodoo, Frostlass, Venusaur, Beedrill, Shiftree, and Umbreon. I'll be showcasing battles from the first round, which is a best of three against a fellow trainer by the name of Leo Like a Boss. I have his team listed on the screen as well. With this being my first tournament, I was really nervous. I didn't think I was going to do that well, but I honestly ended up surprising myself and did pretty decently. All right, without further ado, let's hop into the battles. And we're hopping into game one here. This is my first ever game in a Sylph Arena tournament. So I'm pretty nervous. Leading Frostlass into a Breloom. This could be dicey, depending on what his fast move is. Looks like that he has a grass fast move. So I'm actually okay with that. That's pretty decent. Attack coming through. This is probably going to be a seed bomb. I do have to shield that up because that would do about three quarters of my health. So I do shield up the seed bomb. And... I do farm up a bit extra and I'm going for the Shadow Ball. I'm hoping to either pressure shields or to KO this Breloom. And we do get the shield which is nice and we are just able to farm it down. So he didn't get a second charge move up. So things are looking great. We do have switch advantage. He comes in with a Mag Cargo that's doing a ton of damage. We are just able to get the Shadow Ball off. This should connect for pretty nice damage because Shadow Ball is a strong move. He does throw his shield and the Mag Cargo is able to farm us down. I don't have a good answer for Mag Cargo. I decide to go in with Umbreon and this is actually where I made a mistake. I believe that going in with Shift Tree would have been a lot better of a play. Because Mag Cargo, while it has a very strong fast move, gets to charge moves very, very slowly. So I definitely could have outpaced it. Whereas Umbreon isn't doing the best and he actually catches my charge move on a different Pokemon, which is not ideal. And what did he have in the back? He had a Beedrill. This is not good. My team is very weak to Beedrill, at least what I have left. I'm able to swap onto the shift tree to catch the charge move. And, ooh, Shift Tree is very glassy. And that Fell Stinger does cause his attack to go up. And he's actually able to farm me down, which is tragic. And then at this point, there's not a lot that I can do. I do decide to shield up. May as well burn the last shield. But at this point, it's kind of a lost cause, unfortunately. And yeah, he does farm me down, so I do lose game one. And we're hopping right into game two here. And we have a Frostlass versus an Amoongus. So we're both doing super effective damage on both sides. I'm down one game already in the best of three, so I need to win this game to force a game three. Frostlass, charge move coming through, he does shield it. And we're just chunking away with these fast moves. And he decides to switch out into Umbreon, and I throw the Shadow Ball. I did not mean to do that. This is going to be resisted by Umbreon. Ah, that is not good. So Umbreon, I'm going to counter swap to Sudowoodoo because my counters will be doing super effective damage onto the Umbreon. I decide to let this go so I can see how much damage it's going to do. He hits, and honestly, Sudowoodoo is fairly tanky. I mean, there's probably a reason why it was ranked as the number one Pokemon in Catacomb Cup, 
We do see MP tie there, which is unfortunate. And I'm a little worried this charge move may take me out, so I do decide to shield. So we are able to shield that up, and we do have our rock slide coming through, and this should be applying some decent damage onto the Umbreon. And that does come through, and it does get it low, so we're hopefully able to counter down. And we are just able to counter down. He had just gotten to a charge move, so the, whew, that was close. Unfortunately, the Amoongus comes in, and it is, yeah, that is not good. We forgot to throw our charge move, so he was just able to throw it right away. Didn't know he had energy. We are able to get our Rock Slide through. And our Rock Slide should be pressuring or getting that shield here. It does get the shield, so now all shields are down. We are trying to farm down as much as we can. He is, he waited until I was one away from my rock slide before throwing, so great energy management by my opponent. And he's going to be throwing the charge move and that is going to be taking me out. I do come in with the shift tree. Shift tree is very, very spammy. He switches in the mag cargo, which is a fire type. You might be like, hey, this is not good, but watch what shift tree does here. It gets the charge move so fast. That actually does really nice damage to the mag cargo and boom we're at another charge move and he hasn't even thrown off a single one and we're already at two and those charge moves are doing huge damage to the mag cargo and we are actually able to feign it down so it doesn't get to a charge move which is great amoongus comes in and we are able to get to the leaf blade so we are able to take it out and somehow in our first tournament we are able to take a win and we're going to be forcing a decisive game three so that is fantastic to see right there and so we are going to be going into a game three at this point i am super nervous it all comes down to this and I'm going to be leading Venusaur, and I catch an Umbreon. So he was looking to counter the Frostlass I've led with twice, but I was able to figure out that's what he was going to do, so I do lead with the Venusaur. This is honestly a pretty decent matchup for me. Going for the Frenzy Plant, this is going to be applying quite a bit of damage. Venusaur, while not the tankiest Pokemon, can generate quite a bit of damage. And look at the damage on the Umbreon, that's fantastic. He didn't shield, so I'm going to let this go as well. And charge move coming through from the Umbreon, and yeah, that does quite a bit. And we're just racing to the charge move here. And he switches out, so he tries to catch a Frenzy Plant. However, I realize that's what he did, so I do go for the Sludge Bomb on Berloom. This should be doing a lot of damage if it connects and he does shield it at this point i'm switching into my frost last because my fast move is going to be super effective we're putting in a lot of damage i do have to respect his seed bomb so i am going to be shielding that up because if one of those connects that's going to basically take me out that's going to be doing a ton of damage all right and i'm worried about the seed bomb honestly so i'm throwing the shadow ball just to try and take it out so i can save it my shield and he burns his last shield, so he's going to be going for another seed bomb here. Yep, we do have a charge move coming through, shielding this one up as well. Cannot afford to take a seed bomb, and we are going to be able to faint down this Breloom, so we do keep switch advantage, which is great. All right, and that Umbreon's coming in, and it's going to make quick work of this Frostlass with shields down. But you know what? Frostlass did its job, so I am okay with that. And now against the Umbreon, I do decide to go in with the Shift Tree. Since my Venusaur is low, we're going for the Leaf Blade, and this should be applying some heavy neutral damage. Shift Tree can't take a hit very well, but applies a ton of damage. Look at that on the Umbreon. I look to sack, unfortunately not able to get to it, so they are going to be hitting me with the Charge Move. Looks like it is a last resort, and that definitely does a chunk. That hurts. He has a Moongus in the back. At this point, I'm like, oh, this is rough scenes right here. I'm going to have to pull something off because I cannot take another hit. Going for the foul play, and this should be applying a decent amount of damage on the Amoongus. All right, foul play. We do get him in the yellow here. I'm like, I'm going to have to sack. So I sack, and we catch the charge move on the Venusaur. Huge catch there. Oh, my goodness. I was so happy. It was a sludge bomb. That totally would have taken us out. And then we're able to come back in. We are able to get to the foul play. This is going to be taking out the Amoongus. And then 
it's all up to whether we can beat the Umbreon to a charge move, going through to the wire, and we are we are able to get to it, so we're going to be taking out the Umbreon and somehow, not sure how, but we are actually able to take a win in this series. Unfortunately, lag does come out, so I'm like, oh man, you better not rob me here. Come on, Niantic, and they do not. It hits, so we are able to come from behind with a deficit and win our first game of the Catacomb Cup. And in conclusion, I did end up in the cup having five wins and four losses and actually ended up placing third out of eight. So I did end up in the top placement. So I'm honestly really, really proud of that for being my first cup. Honestly, I really, really enjoyed doing these self cups. Big shout out to my friend Pisistratus for recommending it. And you'll probably be seeing more of these videos in the future because I'll definitely be trying these cups again. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.